Hey everybody, um, so today I, I wanted to do something special because it is sort of a bit of a holiday for us nerds, um, but so I got this wine and the moment I got it, things just started feeling weird around here. Um, I'm not quite sure what to make of it. I've had issues around my house, things have been flying around, and the power keeps going out in my rooms. Oh, you know what, before it gets to this one, hold on, where's my flashlight? Ah, there we go. May the fourth be with you. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. Uh, so today, well I guess, first off, may the fourth be with you another one of those great holidays for us geeks. Second, uh, today I'm going to be reviewing uh, Black Box uh, Pinot Grigio. So uh, this says it has won 50 gold medals with 29 Best Buy awards. Um, and that's since 2004. I, I don't know who's giving them the medals or anything, but they apparently have received a lot of them. And uh, you can go to uh, their Facebook page if you want to learn more about it. But um, it is a, uh, yes, yeah, Pinot Grigio. Uh, it's 12.5% alcohol by volume. It comes in a three liter. So what that means is that you get four bottles uh, that stays good over the course of uh, six weeks. And uh, it has half the carbon pr footprint of making glass bottles if you care about that kind of thing. So I figured um, a boxed wine was a good one to do for today's episode because it kind of plays into some of the misconceptions um, that people have about boxed wines, uh, which are that they're evil. And um, seeing as uh, you saw me, I have a green lightsaber, I'm good. Uh, this is going to be my evil counterpart uh, for today's episode. Um, and I mean, I will ultimately end up seeing if it really is as evil um, or if uh, you should just drink it and not give a Sith. Anyway, so um, let's go ahead and get started with the pour, which uses this mechanism. This is going to be tricky. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. Let's do this. There we go. So pouring a quick sample. And, ah, okay. So um, from a coloration standpoint, it... Um, extremely light like most Pinot Grigios but it actually has a Pinot Grigio color it has this um, light straw tone and um, overall it looks like it is actually wine so first of all I guess well it's screw top technically so you got a point for that second of all good job on having what is in the box actually look like what it says it has which is wine so that's nice um, from a nose standpoint It's very fruity. Um, getting a lot of pear, uh, maybe some apple notes thrown in there. That's mostly what I'm getting is pear and apple. I'm not really, I'm not really catching anything else. There's, there's really no citrus notes. Yeah, pear and apple. That's what I'm getting. Um, so, I mean, if there's something minor in there, maybe it'll come in the taste, which. It's actually higher in acid um, than you would think. Pinot Grigios tend to be um, uh, very crisp. Um, they do have some, uh, they do have, they kind of range in their acidity. There's some that are um, more balanced on the acid and there are some that are a little bit sharper. I would say up front, this is a little bit sharper. Yeah, that acid team seems to persist. The pear is very, um, lackluster i guess um so i'm getting a lot of sort of like green apple in uh because i'm gonna say it's green apple based upon the amount of acid i'm getting um in uh the like the front of the palette and the finish i get a little bit of pear but other than that it really doesn't play much of a role after it, it being it is the dominant aroma in the nose Let's see a lot of pear and where'd you go so um, it's, it's an interesting wine. Um, 
I would be interested at this point to know who gave them 50 gold medals. However, uh, the 29 Best Buy Awards, that could be right. Um, so I I bought this one for $16. I know it's not 15 but I got four bottles worth. That's like $4 a bottle. Um, and in the end, it's not bad. I mean, I would... I would from, from what I'm getting, I would recommend buying this box of wine over almost any $3 bottle or $2 bottle or sometimes some $4 bottles. They, they just, they're not, they don't have good quality control. I feel like this is a better buy um, if you're someone who likes to have a uh, glass of wine um, like once a night. Uh, and you want it to last for a while. If you want to uh, entertain a bunch of friends who are going to be having a couple glasses of wine and you don't want to ha worry about opening a bunch of bottles and just getting rid of them and keeping them after the night or um, having to have all the utensils to open them for this, it's just to pop a hole in the the thing right here, pull the spout out, and start pouring. So it's, it's pretty fantastic like that. Um, in terms of the wine... gonna give it an eh it's not bad it's nothing to write home about there's nothing I feel like I'm missing out which would make me want to go back and buy another box of this uh, within a couple days and, and try to do a follow-up review um, it's just kind of there and I mean it's it's and that's not a bad thing sometimes I mean sometimes having having that there is just an okay thing Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you guys again soon with another review. Hopefully one that will not try to kill me. Have a good night.